United Colony Space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Be advised, you have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately or we will be... I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. I'm telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. It says here that you spent several years as a soldier. That means you understand how to respect the chain of command. Good. I also see that you've mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. All right, let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Of pirates. We've got a lot of guts. 
Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship, Howdy. and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Yes? What? Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look. Before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. Good luck.